with the sorry state of health facilities in Uttar Pradesh, which have been exposed yet again. This time it's from Aligarh, where patients were tied to hospital beds in a government hospital. What's worse is that the hospital authorities defended this, saying that it was because the hospital beds did not have guardrails and the hospital did not have enough attendance to sit by patient's side and ensure that they don't fall off the bed. Of course, uh, this is a sort of inhumane treatment that was being meted out to these, uh, to these accident victims. Uh, they were victims in a uh, real accident, in fact, and to prevent them from falling from the beds, uh, in fact, we've seen uh, you know, them being tied to the, to the bed posts. Uh, that is what the hospital did, and of course, the, government, the hospital uh, then went on to defend uh, what they have done, and that, of course, has led to a, quite a bit of outrage as to the manner in which uh, this hospital was dealing with patients like this. Let's go across now to my colleague Amir Haq joining me on the phone line. Amir, uh, this is absolutely insensitive. A hospital there in Aligarh, uh, a government hospital at that, if they don't have guardrails, apparently they tie patients' hands and legs to a bed. Well, definitely, Viren. You see, uh, this is shocking to say the least because this is not just about any government hospital. Uh, you know, you, you might uh, expect uh, uh, hospitals like uh, CHCs and uh, primary health centers with lesser resources to be resorting to such kind of tactics. But here, uh, this is a medical college, you know, a government-run medical college uh, in Aligarh, uh, you know, surrounded by Aligarh University, wherein this kind of a treatment has been meted out uh, to these two injured patients who, in fact, uh, did not have anybody to take care of them. They, they uh, had no attendance because they were injured in a train accident and they were brought here, admitted to the emergency uh, by, uh, by 108 ambulance itself. But uh, as far as uh, the protocol for such patients is concerned, clearly the hospital should have had enough staff to take care of such patients who are already in distress. And it is absolutely clear, looking at these visuals, that uh, the, both of these are actually breathing in pain. They, they need somebody to console them. They need somebody to take care of them. If they did not have attendance until the time the family was actually informed of the kind of uh, unfortunate accident that they've met, it, met with, uh, it was absolutely the doctor's responsibility, the responsibility of the staff uh, to take care of such patients, uh, leave alone, you know, tying them up like uh, animals with, uh, you know, with the beds that they've been uh, lying on. So clearly, this is something that the government needs to take note of and take a very strict action, exemplary action against all such people who were uh, in charge of uh, the ward over there or who were in charge of uh, the medical college. Uh, that would perhaps uh, create an exemplary, uh, uh, it, it would perhaps create an example before all such doctors so that they do not repeat such, act, uh, such kind of an act in future. Absolutely, and I mean, it's an indictment in two, in two ways. One, of course, of the hospital itself and the other of the state of health care in uh, Uttar Pradesh because you've got, uh, you know, hospital which is clearly ill-equipped to deal with even accident patients in this case. We've uh, spoken at length over uh, this kind of a treatment uh, being meted out to poor patients who turn up at these government-run uh, hospitals. And in the past, we've seen incidents like Dhasi, the one in Sultanpur, when we've seen, uh, uh, you know, uh, portions of, uh, of their body who had actually been severed uh, being used as, uh, uh, you know, pillows under the patient's head. And also a number of instances wherein the government hospital staff has been so insensitive that they do not even provide ambulance services and house plan services to poor people who are in need of and uh, for whom all such facilities have been arranged. So clearly the government actually needs to take note of all such uh, lapses that have happened, these kinds of insensitive uh, uh, cases, and actually take exemplary action in all such cases which are brought to the fore because until and unless they do that, it doesn't seem that uh, the government and the management of such hospitals will actually uh, fall in line. Well, absolutely. Real, uh, real inhumane treatment being there meted out to two patients who are accident victims and to prevent them from falling off the beds of the hospital justified tying their hands and feet to a bed. Thanks, Amir, for joining us.